good. They like those Missouri cruises. Huh? Yeah, four or five swipes, he took it down and just couldn't get him to hit. You know, now we're fishing like 10 foot rods here. We're using a brake line. Well, you know what? I followed up your, your plug red and hooked up that fish right behind you, and it's a nice, solid fish. Northeast Angling. We're proud to present inshore and offshore saltwater fishing. We cover every species from fluke and porgies to stripers, sharks, and tuna. You can learn more about techniques, tackle, and destinations at neangling.com. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Well, I'll tell you, Rich, I've been dying to do this for the longest time. Yeah, you know, Andy, we're a little bit out of our element here. Two boat guys from uh, Long Island Sound, and we're going to do some, uh, some surf fishing here on one of the many South Shore beaches on the East End. Yeah, we're going to meet up with Fred Galifaro, publisher of The Fisherman. Let's see what he's got in store for us. I got a feeling he's going to drag us along these beaches. We might even end up in Montauk before the day is out. <laughs> well, it's early enough in the day. That might be him right up there. Take a look. It's raw. Hey, good morning, Fred. Hey, Andy, how are you? Hey, Rich. What's going on, Freddy? How are you, guys? How you doing out here? Good, good to see you. Good, good luck yet? Yeah, we're picking away, picking some fish. Yeah. Small fish, but it's some action. And well, what do you got in store for us? Well, this tide's going to be dropping pretty soon. It's almost at the top now. I think the action's only going to get better. There's some birds working down the beach there. We might want to head oh, on that down. that looks good. Yeah, I'm and ready. on some of that. Let's go Let's do roll. it. Probably a good idea to head that way, yep. wouldn't you think? Let's yeah. do it. Let's go. <laughs> Freddie, you got one on there? Yeah, we got a fish on here. Yeah, small fish. You know, one of the things we're seeing here is it looks like the bite just hasn't really turned on yet. No, they're not real aggressive. A lot of, uh, a lot of bangs, you know, but they're, uh, I dropped down to a five inch. They, they seem to be hitting a little more aggressively. Now, Rich and I are throwing a little, little bigger one. Fred, you got us fishing these sheds now. And the reason for this now, obviously we're matching the bait that's running down the beach. Yeah, the predominant bait right now are peanut bunker. Okay. And these are a perfect match. Uh, I mean, you could throw a wide body tin, drag it along the bottom, or a bucktail would work, you know, fish deep and slow. But these sheds are made to order when the peanut bunker are around. And basically what you want to do, Freddie, is a very slow retrieve. Very slow retrieve, keep it down near the bottom. Oh. And when you and when you work your rig back into the into the surf line, you feel that undertow working against it, you can almost hold it there and just let the shad swim against let the undertow. Let that tail work back and forth, and uh, that's what turns them on. All right, it sounds great. Okay. Well, let me get out there and see if I get myself one. I'm and ready. The, the other advantage to fishing them deep and slow is when the bluefish are around, a lot of times you can stay under the blues. Oh, right, near right. the bottom, because they'll go through these rubber shad pretty quick. Now, Freddie, we're, we're catching fish here, even though there's not any birds around, and, and you feel that on this drop in tide, we're going to get a lot more surface action. We're going to yeah, see some... Yeah, I think some... there'll be a lot more activity. The bait will probably build up closer to the beach. Yeah, it should be good. Well, yeah, and hopefully there'll be a few bigger fish mixed in. I think we're going to spread out and make a few casts here and see what we can come in. Along, yeah, absolutely. Thing. All right. Got that one hooked up? You know, Boy Andy? Rich. Yeah, I'm in, Freddie. All right. I went back from the surface cruiser back to the shed. Jump right on it. And first cast. Yep. You know, Fred, I know there's not a lot of water moving right now. These fish are a little more lethargic when the tide's not moving. Uh, this this starting to take hold, Andy. This tide's yeah. starting to drop now. Okay. On the way out now. Uh, yeah. 
starting to drop. Here well, comes. the nice thing is at least we're seeing some bait here. I'm seeing more and more bait every minute. Yeah. Yep. Looks like it might even break wide open in Could here. Could build into something pretty good. Now, Freddie, I mean, you know, as opposed to just coming down to any spot on the beach, why would you pick this spot right here? Oh, there's some nice structure here. There's a nice outer bar with some white water on it. Okay. Holding the fish. It's actually, this whole stretch of beach is, has a lot of nice structure along it. Which, you know, one of the nice things about it, too, is you don't need a four-wheel drive. Yeah, this is true. We parked what? Minutes away from the car. A couple hundred Park feet and away. Walk. Thank sounds you. better. Yeah. yeah, it sounds like a little nicer yeah. fish. Now, Andy, Even though they all seem big out here now. Yeah. <laughs> now you're still using the shed. Freddie, you just switched over to a bucktail. I'm going to give the bucktail a try. I'm Got still trying to pull a bigger fish out of here. Piece of pork rind on there, Uncle Josh, right? Yep, strip Uncle Josh pork rind red on a white bucktail. We'll you see know, what happens. It's a good idea to mix it up. See if you can pull some bigger fish. You're going to get a little more casting distance with that yep. than we're getting with the shads. I just got banged again here, too. Come on, baby. Yeah, that's not a bad fish. A little better, Andy. Yep. Well, we're going to need a little, a little work on this guy. Oh, I feel that undertow pulling his lure Oh, down. there we go. Hey, a good hook, too, for a change. Yeah, finally an easy one to unhook. These are beautiful, healthy-looking fish. You notice that Aren't unlike they? our North Shore fish, these seem to be Sandier colored, they're lighter brighter colored. Brighter colored, the, oh, those, fish are, yeah, those fish are on the move. Yeah, they're, they're on the move? Yep. I'm going to get this guy back in the water and get back out there. Visit the Northeast Angling website at neangling.com for nationwide saltwater charter directory, fishing news, and free fishing reports. You can also find dozens of techniques, tips, and tackle for every saltwater species. Now let's get back to the action. Hey, what do you got there, Rich? Ah, Freddy, here nice. we go. That looked good, that looked good. I was on a top water lure. Nothing like catching fish up on top. It came up nice. Yeah, now we got a nice mix of what? Bass and blues yeah, here, Andy, bass, right? Bass, blues, some big blue fish. You know, we've worked a bunch of beaches here today uh, trying to get on the right fish. It's like the surf fisherman's plight. You know, I'll tell you, I am so glad I can wake up in the morning and turn the key to my boat, Andy. Because <laughs> I, well, you guys got to go through to find fish sometimes. Yeah, it's it can incredible. be a little daunting. It really is. is. Oh, there we go, oh, guys. There you go, Andy. We kept moving until we found some bigger fish. Coming up the beach. Nice sized blue fish okay there, Rich. With that, Rich? Yeah, he's, he's chasing him. me with this fish. Yeah, well. Get him up top. Come on, baby. Come to Papa. And now, Freddie, this is what the fall bite Montauk, you know, every cast you're getting a fish when this thing's good, right? Uh, usually September we get that real good blitz fishing, Andy. Yeah. Right now the fish is spread all down the south shore. They're full into their migration. Lots of bait, and this is bunker, peanut bunker, adult bunker. Why don't you get underneath me there? Let me see your pliers there for one second. I got a tough hook. Oh, hang on, maybe not. Nope, I got him. Got it. There we go. So what you're saying is, and this peaks around, you say mid-September? Uh, in mine talk, it yeah. does. Yeah. Yeah, that's been get a the blue bass, fishing eh? of the Blue fish. Blue fish. There we go. Now, Andy, you got a shad on. Freddie, what are you throwing? I'm throwing a shad. A shad. I got a pencil. I got a uh, actually a Yozori surface cruiser here. And you're working this a lot different than you work your normal lure, right, Fred? You want to just pulse that yeah, you tip? You want that head bouncing back and forth, slapping the water. Side to side, right? Side to side. And uh, you may be able to pick a decent bass out of here, too. That's what we're looking for. We're trying to get that big bass today. Hey, Freddie, can I bother you for another shad? Sure. What'd you get cut short there? Yeah, Shoot the bluefish cut me off. So I'm gonna stay with the I'll stay with the surface Actually, floor. Actually, you know what? I put some in here. You guys are gonna work the sheds, and let's uh, Four, let me get uh, we'll get rigged up and get right six, back out here. Five. All right, let's do it. The terminal tackle we use today consists of a Shimano Spheros 8000 reel loaded with 30 pound fire line from Berkeley. We attach it with a 30 pound trace of vanished fluorocarbon leader. We use either a Yozuri surface cruiser or one of the many Spro shads. Freddie, All right, Andy. Good we job. talk about the retrieve on these. You know, 
I know you can either go with a steady retrieve, or I've just gave mine like a little flipping action. A little what do twitch, you, little twitch to it? Yeah. Yeah, generally just a very slow retrieve, keeping it down near the bottom. You can add a little lift in between. And sometimes they'll even hit it on the way down. On really? The yeah. Tell you what, guys, this is a little That's better, a better fish. fish. Yeah. Looks like a better fish. I made a cast right before that, had a bite, and I came in tailless. Uh oh. Yeah, I hope, hope that's not what I have here, but it doesn't feel like it. Saw a nice boil too, just to the left here. Yeah, that's a better fish there. Either. A little better fish, yeah. 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 Now, catching. Freddie, what time of year does this really start up and start getting good? Well, I mean, the whole, the whole fall from September right on through November. Uh, this fishing right now, the middle of November, you know, the fish are heavy into the migration. A lot of a lot of days now you'll find good fishing from Montauk all the way to the Rockaways down the south. Really? So, yeah. Think there's still some blue fish around? Uh-oh. <laughs> that didn't last long, did it? I just well, made Rich, that. Rich has lost a couple of tails on this. I just thing. made that kid. You know, okay, when you get when you fish get give me a good tussle here. When you get yeah. blue fish like that, Freddie, good idea maybe to go on a bucktail? You could throw a bucktail on, maybe yeah. I'll or, try that. or a tin. Well, Rich, that's what's biting you off here. That's what's that's what's biting you off. That is a big blue fish, Andy. That is a nice little blue fish. Well, you know what? Nice job. Oh, I don't mind. I like catching these fish. Let me oh, rush in here and get this guy. Back, Andy. <laughs> I got a bucktail right here, Fred. I would think I'm going to try that. That's not bad. That's all right. It's a nice fish, Andy. You can grab these. You think he's eating well or what? Yeah, he's nice and fat. You grab these, you grab around the shoulder. I got a better idea. You know what? He didn't even get the tail on my rig. No. Get it back. Nope. Pair of pliers, Andy? I'm gonna need a little help with this one, Freddie. He's got a pretty good. Here we go. I wasn't losing him. Thanks, Fred. Love those pliers. All right, and then on a release, Fred, we wait for the wave to come in. Yeah, make sure you have enough water for the fish to swim. And you just get them going. Yep. Fred, you can get some pretty big bluefish this time of isn't uh, time of year from the surf now. Also. Oh yeah, yeah. There's some, you know, mid-teen fish mixed in. Really? Yeah. Especially when you get the bigger bunker around. Now there's there's days, Andy. We see it on the South Shore all the time. There we and go. You see, see it here too, Fred. Where these fish will actually take a big bite of a small bass coming in oh, too, yeah. right? Oh yeah. That's been going on actually. You know, a lot of these bass now are anywhere from 12 to 24 inches, and it's not unusual to have them chopped in half by a big bluefish. Andy, we see that a lot of over by yeah. us, right? You know, it's that, that, a bluefish that size, like the one I just caught, certainly could take a tail on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep, easily. Well, let's get to it and see if we can get some more. Visit the Northeast Angling YouTube channel for hundreds of videos, including full-length episodes, exciting clips, product reviews, and instructional videos. And now, the exciting conclusion of Northeast Angling. Oh, Freddie, you got one after yours, too? I know uh, Rich is hooked up there. Rich's, Let's see what we got here. Now, this fish, he's not jumping much, and I don't feel too much of a head shake. Not a lot but of shaking. We'll see. Could be that we got some bass working through here. That would be nice. Now, Fred, typically some of the bigger bass you see here, you know, what, do you, what can you get up to here? Oh, you get fish up to 20 and 30 pounds. But yeah. The current run of fish is predominantly small fish. If you get a 15 to 20 pound fish, you've done really well. What do you got there, Rich? I think it's a blue now that I see him closer. I'm going to back up a little bit. Yeah, big and that fish. sickle tail. See the fork tail? Oh, whoa, I'm sleeping here. Fight, Andy? Yeah, I'm watching your fish. I got a real good wrap there. That's a nice size bluefish, I'll tell you. It's a great bluefish Very on nice. a plug. From the beach on a plug? And you know they're getting big because you can see it in their shoulders, you know, Fred? Yeah, they really beef up this Yeah, time they of do. Year. They definitely yeah. do. Well, they really got a good feed going with all these peanut bunker in the water. Nice job on that fish, Rich. Get him back in the wash. I 
Jones would say he's feeling very bluefish-like right now, but I could be wrong. You know, when you get that head shake. Little guy. Freddie, your lure and my lure side by side. Let's see if we can get something we, up. Yeah, a little bass here. <laughs> oh, there, there we go, Fred. There you go. I got him. Oh. That, that's a bass, uh, Rich. Well, take a look. Looks like a bass. He hit pretty hard. I like the way he hit, that's for sure. Well, I'm going to just stand back here and keep am you company, I on your Rich. Line, Rich. I think I am. Uh, I think I am yeah. over you, Fred. I think I made it on top of you. Oh, you did you go slack all of a sudden? Uh, I went tight, actually. All right, then we should be OK. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, I think now, Rich, what did you do on that retrieve? I saw that fish came up a couple of times, and Freddie just hooked, right, hooked up right in the surf line. And Freddie and I are tangled. we got to figure this tangled. one out. <laughs> I think I it's think the other way, Fred. I think you're under and over. Fred, I think you're back this way. Stay still. Let's go this way. There we go. Take All right, get out of the way here. Right or wrong? One more time? Yeah, one more time. Still can't tell. <laughs> there we go. Knit one, pearl two, and we're free. <laughs> That's a nice little ballet there, guys. Oh, what do I got here? I got another bluefish, I think. Was it a blue? Yeah, it looked like a bass. What's up, guys? Whoa. Freddie's got one right at, right at our feet yeah. here. Coming up. Watch, your, watch yourself up there, Fred. Fred. Coming. There we go. Nice Take blue fish. fish now. You know, Fred, I know we can work this, these beaches, spend a day out here, and you're really sometimes just shooting for that good half hour, hour bite, and you really got to take advantage of oh, it. Oh, yeah, at that you point. do. Yeah, you want to have all your equipment on you, ready to go, leaders ready to be replaced. You don't want any downtime. Right. Yeah, especially on the beach where your mobility's a little limited. Yep. You know, your bite comes wash. by, you got to take advantage of it. Got another one coming oh, there, Fred? Oh, Fred, I see that. Yeah, and you might want to switch to a popper. That's I'm going to switch in just a minute. I'm going to let you guys work the top a little bit. Uh, you know, I, I would stay down if you're looking for a bass. Right now, it looks like uh, uh, all bluefish up here. Now, Freddie, these fish, they're basically, we know they're on peanut bunker. You said there's some herring around lately. Yep. And, and these herring. fish are just basically just cruising the beach, right? Yeah, they're pushing the bait. They're on the move. The school's moving up and down the beach now. Is that another so fish? The boats are out working on fish. Got another one. Take a look at me here. Now, Fred, do you notice any change in the, in the bite as the light starts to drop a little bit? Yeah, the fish kind of turn on a little more? More than, more often than not, they do. And you may have a shot of a little bigger fish and some more bass before it's dark. And the nice thing is, it looks like we got a bunch of good light in front of us still here. Yeah, we have plenty of time. This is beautiful. You know, I look down the beach, I see a couple of bent rods a little further down. And, and I'll tell you, you know, access-wise, once again, you know, South Shore, Long Island, beautiful beaches. I mean, you can look at me. I'm sitting here in a thermal shirt. We picked yeah. a beautiful day. And contrary to what a lot of people believe, you don't need a four-wheel drive. There's a lot of good access. We just pulled up to the lot and walked yeah. down. That's right. Hey, you know what I like seeing, guys? That big school of birds and bait working and, its way down toward us. getting closer. Us. Getting closer every minute. Getting closer is a plus, right, Andy? When that thing starts getting real close, you know what I'm switching to. Be putting that top water plug on, get myself a little extra casting distance. There you go. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go. Come on. There he is. Come on. He's torturing me, Fred. He's torturing me. Come on, get on that. Oh, man. He took they it. like those Yazuri cruises. Yeah, huh? four or five swipes he took it down. I just yep. couldn't get him to hit. Okay. You know, now we're fishing, what, 10 foot rods here. We're using a brake line. And they, they well, you know what? I followed up your, your plug, Rich, and hooked up that fish right behind you. And it's a nice, solid fish. Here you go. Now, Freddie, you notice a lot of guys are switching to the braided lines in the surf, right? Uh, most guys are using braid, yep. Yeah. And there are. Yeah, there's some distinct advantages, but yeah, there's also some compromises you're going to make with it. Well, one thing's for sure, you're going to get more casting distance. You will get more distance. Uh, certainly a much more effective hook set because of the lack of strap. Well, yeah. uh, they're ideal for working things like bucktails, plastic. Right. Yeah, yeah you feel very, even the slightest hit, you can rear back on. Very sensitive. Yeah. Come on, Andy, show me a big bass. I got a nice fish here. 
Show me a big bear. Let's see what we got here, guys. Getting a little help from the surf. And it's a nice bass. There you go. That's what I wanted to see. Beautiful fish, buddy. I'm gonna put this down and I'll see if I can give you a hand with that if you need it. I got him. Here you we go. go. Right. There you go. Nice That's fish. a nice fish, Andy. Very good. Well, I'll tell you, Fred, it's been a heck of a day out here. Yeah, it's been fun. Huh? And uh, nice we appreciate fish. appreciate everything yeah, you bring, having the time to bring us out here. It's a pleasure fishing with you guys. And uh, we'd like to make this a regular thing, you know, a regular stop Anytime. on the schedule. You guys are always invited. Well, Thanks so much. It took him a little bit of time, but he, we got it. Right, he's really got us into we the got, fish. We, got, we, got, we did his yeah, job we did, now. We did some looking. Yep. Put All a right. lot, a lot of small fish today, but finally we got into some bigger fish. All right, I'm going to get this guy on his way. You guys get a couple more casts in before oh, we lose the light. Right. Yeah, let's see if we can pick another nice fish. Thank you for watching Northeast Angling. You can learn more about techniques, tackle, and destinations as seen on this show at neangling.com. See you on the water.